Hi, in this video I want to show you how to use MIDI karaoke player uh, for uh, karaoke jockey uh, brief Fox JK you can find the software on the website foxfun.com and you can download from there it's free the version 4.10 when you after you downloaded the software it's in a zip file and uh, after you unzip it you will see all this the file in the folder and the, the file you have to run is a foxkj.exe if I run it you will see the uh, welcome screen this is what I'm showing is 4.1.0 4 it's a freeware uh, let's run it in the window so the first time you run it you will see there's a fire uh, firewall warning uh, in order to run this uh, you have to allow the uh, false screen to ac access the network I will show you uh, because there are two applications talk to each other the screen is running on network so even it's running on a standalone machine is still using the network uh, I will explain the network feature on a later uh, video but in this case we just allowed it to access and I also want to show you if you don't want uh, if you don't want to run the software anymore then you can still can disable to, uh, uh, or lock the firewall again you that is uh, this is a Windows 7 go to control panel Windows firewall at the very button so click on it and go to advanced setting and go to inbound rules and you can see the here are few items full screen are added if you don't want to run full KJ anymore you just select them and delete them and say okay I want to delete them then they are gone now you are safe again so you close your firewall okay when I run it again of course the message will come back and okay now I want to show you I allowed it and the software is has a screen and a panel and there's an open button MIDI karaoke uh, you can open a single MIDI file or you can s find some basically MIDI karaoke is a standard MIDI file with uh, with lyric information, so I just for demonstration I just simply open one of my song. Okay, let's open one of these, so you can see now we still start running. And there's a slice of running in the background. Okay, that's running a single song, and uh, I want to show you how to add, uh, add the song library. If you go to setting, and here you can see songs. The tab songs. Click on it. MIDI files. So basically, you put the location you where are your songs so I have got if you haven't got any then you have to try to find some from the internet uh, I've got already few of them so it's under my bin directory make sure you double click on it and it become gray and click on add and if you move over th to the right panel and click on save and click OK so 
now you what the software does is, is, is go to the directory and collect all the songs in that directory so uh, how do you know what song you've got at the moment or uh, go back to the setting create a song list here is the output button you can select the directory where you want to put your song list let's say we put it in the TMP directory and when you click on create so then the song list is created uh, two song lists are created this one is the song list uh, sorted by artist so you at the moment the first few one you it's a, a CSV file you can open with Excel and you can import export to anywhere else and at the the fir first column uh, is the song ID the one you have to enter to select a song and at the same time there is another s song list created it's called underscore t mean sorted by title so you can see all the titles started with a and and so on so let's minimize the song list let's close this setting for the moment and we can see let's say this is a happy birthday number 332 so it if you got go back to here you can enter 332 then you got the song happy birthday and press on enter you won't see it doesn't start to play what you have done is add the song to the playlist so uh, I can do it uh, let's say I select another song okay 990 Lady Gaga for example so and if I go to back to here 990 and press enter again so it's still not playing what you have done is just add the song to the playlist if you click on playlist then you can see the first song the second song by default there's a three photos in the slideshow but you want to create your own slide your the slides with your own photos so you go back to setting and go to display and you can see here is the default uh, album you can change it add few more directory in the album here or you can add a new album as well for example click on new so I need to enter name so let's say test album and let me select my photos go to photos uh, hang on it's the wrong one photos and and uh, okay new year make sure you always double click on the folder and click add it will go to the right panel and click on save and click on ok with the photos with the slideshow the, in order to uh, retrieve all your photos information you need to restart the player and uh, okay and uh, we got a random button he button here so we can play a random song from our uh, uh, song library click play and can you can see it's playing uh, all the f photos from uh, all the albums so basically it just random play any photos any photo from any album so if you want to pick a uh, particular album you can press K uh, and you can see there's a, a number pad 
and uh, let's say if, if I select uh, the first one is the default album and if if I continue play the song or if I play the same song it won't have any effect it only has effect if I go to the next song and then it will play the album I have selected so let's try so After the selected album has been uh, shown on the screen, then it will sh go to the random, go back to random again. So any photo from any album. Okay, that's for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye.